The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the rear seat cargo area and how it works on the first generation Nissan Xterra as compared to the rear seat cargo area on the first generation Nissan Pathfinder. I'm making this video because I recently purchased this 2002 supercharged Nissan Xterra and after scouring YouTube could not find any videos of how the rear seat cargo area worked and I wanted to know because I drive this wonderful vehicle here the 1992 Nissan Pathfinder which has a great rear seating cargo area so you have to remove the headrest which I keep in the house and then the cushion here is on a hinge it opens you grab this handle, pull that cushion down, and there it is. And it's perfectly flat. So, you can also do it from this side on the other side. So, pretty simple. And it's totally flat. So, I wanted to know how the Xterra worked before I purchased it from 700 miles away. And I actually couldn't find anything, so I went ahead and bought it, and then I found out when I got it. So here we are. So now here we are in the back of the Xterra. So let's do this first. This is the handle on this one. The headrests are built in. So let's do this first to see what happens without taking the cushion out. So that's what you get. I mean, you know, it's not terrible without taking the cushion out. But now it's a little bit harder. We've got to get in here and grab these tabs. And the whole seat cushion comes out. So it was attached there. Here's the seat cushion, and there are these tabs on the bottom of the seat cushion. So you have to slide it back in, and then pop it back down. So, so then you have to do something with this. You have to be able to store it somewhere. And see, you gotta, okay, so you're gonna have to store that somewhere then this comes down okay now that's not bad and I hate to be a complainer but that is not perfectly flat I mean it's not bad it's almost flat but when you're done you're gonna have two of these so you can't leave those in the house the way you do on the Pathfinder so Anyway, I'm not sure why they would have departed from the way they were doing it before. And I guess we'll have to see what the second and third gen vehicles are like. But I stay rather far behind, so it'll be a few years before I check one of those out. Anyway, my Nissan four-wheel drive vehicles and I thank you.